So having a list is absolutely huge. Investing in a list is huge. You need to look at it as an investment. Too many people look at it as an expense and they don't do it because you're like, hey, I'm spending you know, $100 a day, $1,000 a day, $5,000 a day. I'm not making anything today. You need to look at what are you going to generate on Black Friday, Cyber Monday because you have that. Um, and I, I can tell you for one of our last course launches, we spent probably $1,000 on warm audiences, his waiting list. And, uh, and we brought about $55,000 in profit. Hey everyone, uh, how's it going? It's Eric Dick here from iStack Training. Uh, this is going to be uh, one of the best webinars we've ever done. I'm super excited about it. So let's just jump into it. Max, why don't you start us off a little bit with uh, with what you're bringing to the table? Sure. So today's going to be it's going to be fun because we get to hear from usually on webinars you hear from like you know one person they're they're sharing for 90 minutes and it gets pretty pretty boring and stale. But tonight you get to hear from uh, from three people, which is awesome and and three experts who are are bringing a lot of different strategies to the table. So that that's huge. I'm excited for that just to get diversified approaches because everyone has different approaches to uh, to running their traffic. Everyone has different approaches to scaling, handling customers, all that good stuff. Uh, but today, I really want to talk about a few things. And the, the the first really is we're going into a period of the year where there is so much competition, where everybody throughout you know you have all these businesses that throughout three quarters of the year they don't really advertise and they kind of hear about q4 and they hear if you're making money and they say i gotta i gotta get out on this and the problem is those business owners don't really know what they're doing and uh that's that's good during the rest of the year but it's kind of dangerous during q4 because you have all this money being dumped into facebook you don't really have any additional ad inventory and you know we kind of look at economics 101 where you have no more supply of something and an increase in demand, the only thing that can happen is price needs to go up to balance those two out um, because Facebook can't sell more inventory than it has. So that's what's happening right now. We're, we're going to a period of time, period of the year where people are spending more, they're buying more, they're buying gifts, they're looking to shop, but everyone wants those eyeballs. So we're gonna talk about some ad types that you can be running to stand out, creatives that you can be using to stand out, how we can pattern interrupt because that's huge. You're gonna have lots and lots of, of people in your industry that are trying to get the same eyeballs, the same credit cards. Everyone wants them to take their wallet out and, and spend money. So talk about that. Talk about how to build anticipation. So how to build excitement, how to build data, what to do with that data. And uh, if we have time, we'll talk about what to do after Black Rest Every Monday. And that's a area that I get most excited about because it's an area most people don't play in. Most people play in that first touch point. Hey, I need to get somebody to buy something, get the credit card out, and they leave it at that. And then nothing happens after the purchase. And that's crazy because that's, probably the easy time to make money. That's where you make a lot of your money. And, uh, and that's where a lot of people aren't operating. So there's less competition. So um, that's what we're gonna talk about, Eric. And uh, and I can't see, so in the chat, um, I can't see any like questions or anything coming in. I can just see from moderators. Um, actually, now I can see questions. So um, if you see anything in the chat though, just let me know, Eric or whoever, um, just if there's questions that, that require me to stop. Cause I'm gonna try to go through this fast. I know we only have a little bit of time. Want to be respectful of that. So let's start with, I'm gonna share my screen. I didn't put together any slides or anything, um, but I'll just share some of the, the, the ads we're running so you guys can get some visuals behind it. And so you don't just look at my face the entire time, which uh, nobody wants to do that. Uh, let's see. I don't know, Eric, if you can, you probably have to give me trans, you transition over to give me, uh, okay, sure. give me a screen share. But while, while we're talking yeah. about that, so before I talk in the ads, let's talk about what are you doing today and you know we're kind of we're kind of close into Black Friday, so you don't have too much time. But at least for the next the next week or so, what are you doing with your ads? And if you're waiting, let's see, screen two, beautiful. Okay, so if you're waiting right now to uh, to start running traffic until Black Friday, don't do that. That that is a huge, huge, huge mistake. And it's probably the the biggest mistake that people make when they do like Kickstarter campaigns, course launches, um, Black Friday sales, where they wait until the day something happens when they need the sales and traffic to start running ads. You need to look at the next week and ideally the last month as a investment in data, an investment in audience, an investment in creative. So for that four day weekend, you don't need to do testing. You don't need to figure out who the right targeting is, 
You don't need to build anticipation or excitement. Everything is there. And that's where you drive a lot of your profits. So um, I can throw a few examples out there. So for like Pat Flynn, we run all the traffic with Pat, incredible dude, makes my job super easy as an advertiser um, because he's got a huge brand and just an awesome dude and provides really valuable content. Um, but we're doing some massive deals for his courses on starting Friday, going through Monday. He's doing, you know, huge sales on his podcasting course, affiliate marketing course, his start, start from scratch entrepreneurship course, really diverse base of courses. So we've spent the last month and a half driving substantial lead generation to a free course. So we created a free mini course called Build Your Brand. It helps entrepreneurs that want to start something, start building a brand, get momentum going. Um, and so we've been spending, you know, $1,500 to $2,500 a day just driving lead gen there for a few reasons. So first reason, we're starting to build a list. And if you can have a list to work with on Black Friday, it's going to make you much, much more profitable and it's going to help offset any of the costs you're going to incur to the cold traffic. So we usually generate at least 50% of our total profits for any launch or any big offer from warm audiences. And, uh, and those warm audiences are usually a fraction of the percent of the total audience for any of the cold traffic. So it's a disproportionate profit pool that we have. So having a list is absolutely huge. Investing in a list is huge. You need to look at it as an investment. Too many people look at it as an expense and they don't do it because you're like, hey, I'm spending you know, $100 a day, $1,000 a day, $5,000 a day. I'm not making anything today. You need to look at what are you gonna generate on Black Friday, Cyber Monday because you have that. Um, and I, I can tell you, uh, I wanna see if actually I can pull up, pull up a graphic from one of our, uh, one of our slideshows that, that shows it. But anyway, for one of our last course launches, we spent probably $1,000 on warm audiences, his waiting list, and, uh, and we brought about $55,000 in profit we've spent about $6,000 to build that list and build a warm audience. So our total cost all in investment is 7,000. That's still an incredible return. So we need to reframe the way we look at data, the way we need to look at how we're spending our money on pay traffic. So think about how you can do that for info products. It's a lot easier. You can run, you know, a free course, you can do a free lead magnet and run lead generation ads for that. You know, ideally website conversion ads optimized for leads and, uh, and so that's for info products. If you're running a physical product, this is where it gets a little more challenging. One of the things I like to do is create a kind of Black Friday, Cyber Monday deal, like preview list, like waiting list type thing, where you're gonna show the big deals you're gonna be doing. You can start kind of a waiting list where you might release those deals 24 hours earlier, or a day or two earlier. You might give some exclusive deals just to those people. Maybe they get a you know $25 gift card when they buy, there's an incentive. You can also do a giveaway on top of that. So like we started a few of them a month or two ago and we did a giveaway every week. So if you're on the list early on, you can get you know a free product, you can get a hundred dollar gift card, different things. Um, so there's an incentive to join that list. And that way now we have a, a list of people who have confirmed that this is what they're interested in. They want our deals, they've given us their email. We can retarget them directly on Facebook. We can get lookalike data on top of those people. Those are our Black Friday shoppers. They're raising their hand and saying, hey, this is what I'm interested in. So Facebook's gonna find 2 million plus more people like them. So it gives us a really strong starting point on Black Friday, Saturday, Monday. So just to recap, for info products, course businesses, anything like that, put together a quick little free course, put together a quick little lead magnet, start driving some lead generation for it for the next week leading up to Black Friday, Saturday, Monday. And now you have a really good pool of people to retarget with your core offers, with the deals you're doing. And you also have a great audience to use for lookalike building on top of that. Um, so that that's something for for lead generation. And what's crazy is Amazon's doing this right now. It's brilliant. Amazon uh, modeled their like holiday shopping list off of Toys R Us's old catalog. So they sent out like a duplicate of Toys R Us's catalog, but it's Amazon obviously to like tens of millions of parents. And it was, it was aimed at kids. So the magazines may look fun. It's got all kinds of toys on it and has, you know, you can scan everything. So now kids are reading through it, telling their parents, Hey, I want this, this, and this. It's got the dates on it when it's going, you know, when they have the big deals, when the big prices. So it's uh, it's something that if Amazon's doing it, we should probably be doing it as well. Right. They're, they're building excitement, anticipation, previewing their deals, getting people to buy in and get excitement, tell them that this is what they want. That's a great place to be. So and, uh, and Eric, we'll probably do, we can do a Q&A at the end on this stuff because I, I want to make sure I get through everything. So if you guys have questions about any of that, just hold it till the end and I can answer anything on kind of list building. We're going through this quick, obviously. Now for 
the the actual day of so when you start your deals um and regards to deals i'm sure Ernst and, and depeche might be talking about um some deal structure and and offer creation they guys talking about that but it is important to have a really good framework there of what your deals are going to be have all that plan like ideally today you know exactly whatever deal is going to be whatever discount is going to be um we like to do tiered discounts so we like to incentivize higher spend so we'll have you know 50 bucks 100 bucks 200 bucks 300 500 and we'll have tiered discounts um based on how much you're spending we'll also do kind of buy one get ones so if you spend a certain amount of money money you might get a gift card that's valid for the next 60 days so it encourages return business it also makes it so like if i'm buying a gift for somebody i also get something people feel like they're getting more value out of it so just quick on the the offer side of it for the ads because i realize i've had this up here on my screen the entire time so you guys have looked at it one of the the biggest questions i get for smaller businesses um and kind of mom and pops people starting an e-commerce store is hey i don't have a lot of creative like how can i stand out right so everyone's throwing their best stuff at the wall right now black Friday every monday i'm competing against purple and squatty potty and warby parker and amazon and Target and these companies that have massive budgets, super creative people. How do I stand on the newsfeed? I have a image of a shirt. How do I make that shirt stand out, look cool? So we have um, one of our clients, we're doing a ton, they, they do a ton of gear testing, like free plus shipping, um, and just have, they have a massive back end. So we spend lots of money on front end lead generation and we kind of break even there. But they just started doing free plus shipping t shirts. And uh, obviously, they don't have any photo shoots, they didn't have any model photos yet or anything like that. So they just gave us some t-shirt graphics. So we were able to take a boring t-shirt and ran it through an app that I'll show you guys in just a second. And we turned it into a interactive GIF. So now instead of scrolling through your feed and seeing a boring t-shirt, you see a t-shirt with firework animations on top of it, with an American flag in the background, with an animated share button on top of it in a one by one dimension. Like this stands out in the feed um, and this ad you know, it's reached a million people. It has a hundred thousand plus engagements on it. So it's gotten a massive amount of virality. And that's, you know, part because of the animation. It's also part because of what's on the shirt itself, right? The shirt's kind of controversial. So that gets uh, a lot of people going, but we use an app called InShot. If anyone wants to write that down, it's called I-N-S-H-O-T. It's a free iPhone Android app. Um, you can literally just grab any image, you pull it in there. They have all these cool filters you can add on top fireworks, fire, uh, ribbons, all kinds of stuff. Then they have all these animated emojis you can throw on top of it. You can add text, you can you know, split it, you can clip it, you can do all kinds of stuff. And uh, it's an awesome tool. I recommend everybody use this. If you want any Facebook traffic and you're looking to enhance your creative, like you should be using tools like InShot, tools like Majesto. There's so many free tools out there that just give you that little extra edge. So, um, so when you go to run your ads and your competition, you're in the t-shirt space, and you're running a you know t-shirt for firemen or something like that and everyone else is running just a boring t-shirt on a white background you have a t-shirt with a cool american flag with a fire filter on the bottom of it pumping fire at the bottom that's going to stand out that's going to pattern her up that's going to grab that eyeball and the name of the game this weekend next weekend is going to be attention and interrupting on that feed so highly recommend checking out InShot. um there's also a, a tool pull this up real quick so place it's another great tool to check out for your ads. It allows you, especially if you're in the apparel or the print on demand um, market, which I'm sure a lot of people here are in that market. It allows you to basically throw your, your shirt, your tote bag, your mug, whatever the graphic is directly on a professional model and it instantly adds the color, instantly adds the shirt design. You can export it. Now you can throw it directly into your Facebook ad um, Instagram ad, you can use it on your Shopify page, which I'd recommend. I'm not going to talk about the offer stuff, but having model photos on your product pages, consistent photos gives you a huge conversion rate boost. Um, you can come in here and make Instagram stories. You can make Instagram videos. They have all kinds of great stuff in here for pumping out quick creative without needing a huge budget or a creative team. So you can come in here and you can use, you know, any of their templates to put together, you know, stories for both Facebook and Instagram. Now that they're both um, both open. So on the creative side, definitely check that out. Place it, P L A S um, C E I T dot net. It's weird that they're dot net and know anybody was actually dot net anymore. Um, and then the final thing on the creative, leverage all the space you're getting. So Facebook gives you 
X amount of real estate per ad, per post, you should be using all the real estate they're giving you. So if you have the ability, if you're running on mobile, this is on desktop right now, but on we only run this on mobile right now. If you're running mobile, use a four by five video dimension, maximize the full real estate they're giving you. Don't just use a 16 by nine. Don't use a one by one, use four by five. You wanna grab as much of that screen as possible. It gives you the ability to include more in your visual. You can include your text overlays without going over the 20% rule. It's just a, a must have. Um, all the videos running, even just like straight shots like this of Pat, we make sure to include some type of emoji, some type of graphic, some type of text that's going to at least give you a quick, quick hit of like what this is about. So this is obviously a, uh, a free brand building course. So just instantly, as soon as they see it, grabs their attention. They know what it is in case they don't see the headline. It stands out right there. That's what their eyes are drawn to on the video. Okay. So that's the, the video. Now, in terms of, and uh, Eric, where are we, if you just want to give me a quick time check, I want to make sure I, I don't go over for anybody else's time as well. So trying to get through as much yeah, stuff not, as possible. We're not, we're not super quick. We're, we're not super tight on time. So just, yeah, like I think another another five, 10 minutes of, of gold would be would be just okay. Awesome. And uh, and again, anybody that has any questions, we'll make sure we get those all answered. So I'm sure there are plenty right now. So here's the the other big thing for Black Friday or Monday the data right data is everything for the next the next week or two if uh and that's why in the beginning of this little session i talked about the need to drive leads the need to drive traffic the need to drive video views even if you don't have a tangible roi associated with it even if you're not selling something getting that data has a tangible value associated with it it has a dollar value at least the way we look at it there's dollars associated with that data because we know that hey for every you know 2000 leads we get for pat we're converting 200 of them when we do this sale like we have that data and and again if you don't have that data that's fine but you still need to have the assumption that um having data going to black Friday every monday is better than not having data and you will make more money even if you're investing a few grand or even a few hundred dollars depending on your budget this week and last week and you know when you when we started i guarantee you you will be more profitable on black Friday every monday having made that investment than if you wait to start spending money on Friday. That's that's a guarantee. And if you don't, you can reach out to me and I can look at what went wrong or what you know what you messed up. Cause that, that's there's no way you don't um don't make money as long as you're driving traffic to something that's directly tied into the offer you're going to be making that weekend. So why does that make us money? Well the first is it gives us a direct pool to retarget. So if we're smart and we're hitting people with a you know black friday cheat sheet preview vip list or we're hitting people with a free mini course or a lead magnet that is directly tied into the core offer we're going to be making so we know for pat for example that um hey this is the course we're building a brand so we know anybody that's going to start this course we've had sixteen thousand people come into the course for free that they're probably entrepreneurs they want to start a brand they're looking to grow something we know all those things because they started the course so now when we do our, our launch, our discounts for our podcasting course and our affiliate marketing course and our smart from scratch course, we can retarget that pool directly and make it very personalized. Hey guys, we know you just, um, we, you know, you started your brand a few weeks ago. You know, it's great to further amplify your brand and get started a podcast and you're in luck because Pat's doing a huge deal on his podcasting course. It's helped 20,000 entrepreneurs start a podcast. Pat has 42 million downloads, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's tied directly into that. It's a natural ascension for a prospect. So you create this, this ascension ladder from free offer, lead generation, express interest to that initial purchase point. And it ties directly into what that path is and it's gonna help them be more successful. So that's the first reason why we wanna do it. The second reason is we wanna be able to start mining that data. You wanna know before Black Friday, Saturday, Monday, what placements, what platforms, what regions, what ages, what genders, all of that, what is performing best? Where are you getting the best cost per lead? Where are you getting the best cost per click? Where are you getting the, you know, the highest relevance scores? What type of creative is performing best? All of that should be known before you start running traffic for your holiday deals. So by running traffic for the last month and a half or so, or even if you just do it now for the next week, you're gonna start getting that data 
and you're going to have a really strong reference point for your ad sets on Friday. When you're loading things up Thursday night, um, I and I wouldn't wait till Thursday night. I would load things up early in the week and just have it ready to run, start running on schedule for you know Friday at 4 a.m. Um, you're you're not gonna you're not gonna waste money on on profitable segments. You can trim the fat. And Black Friday, Cyber Monday is all about profit maximization. And that means you want to trim as much fast as possible and focus on your most profitable segments. So you have your custom audiences where people are like, hey, I'm interested. I've already gotten to your ecosystem. And then you have your cold audiences, but your cold audiences are going to be trimmed because they're going to be based on the data you've collected from your warm audiences. And you can build lookalikes. You, you know, go 1%, 5%, 10%. 10%. Um, we're seeing right now, 5% and 10% lookalikes are outperforming at 1% and 2% lookalikes significantly, um, especially this time of year, giving Facebook a bigger pool, a bigger group to look at, especially if you have even some somewhat decent data on your pixel is going to perform a lot better. It gives Facebook more room. It gives their algorithm more room to work with and find the right segments and, and scale from there because scale is important. You don't want to run a 10,000 person audience on Black Friday or Monday and kill it Friday, but have nowhere to go because you max out the audience. So. Those are two things. The final thing on um, data, don't be afraid to narrow your timeframes. So 99.9% .9 of, of advertisers on Facebook, they max out their time windows for custom audiences and they build lookalikes on those. So everything's 180 days, unless it's an engagement audience, which is 365. But your visitors, your buyers, add to carts, leads, everybody's doing that 180 days for lookalikes. And that's fine if you don't have a lot of data, but if you're generating, you know, a few thousand clicks, a few thousand leads, a few thousand out of carts a month, you should not be doing 180 days for all your lookalikes. You should be looking at 30 day, 60 day, 90 day. A lot of our best audiences right now, especially for some of our higher volume accounts, we're spending, you know, 10, 20,000 a day are actually our 30 day audiences. So we have, um, I'm trying to find down here, any of our, our 30 day lookalikes. So we started, breaking it down by 30 days and building lookalikes on top of those. Now, the reason we do that, the reason we're seeing success with it is the data is fresher, it's more relevant, and it's more likely that the, the source is going to be kind of on par with our target avatar. Because think about it, like we, we're humans, our, our interests change over time, what, we're, what we like changes over time. So the further we get out from when we made that decision, the more likely it is that we've changed. So if I say, you know, I bought this last stand t-shirt, which is all about, you know, kneeling, it's, you know, stand it kneeling for the, the, the national anthem and standing in, and standing for the national anthem, kneeling for the cross. I got that wrong. Um, but let's say, you know, 150 days in, I'm like, I can't stand Trump anymore. I'm, I'm off team Trump and I'm on, you know, on the other side and I would never buy that shirt now. Well, now I'm still in that pool and you're not building look like that on people like that. If you do it off of 30 days or even 14 days, depending on your volume, it's less likely that's going to happen. So it just is a higher quality source audience. And the reality is you only need about 1,000 to 4,000 people in a custom audience to build an ideal lookalike. If you have over 4,000, the incremental benefit to the lookalike, there really isn't any. Um, under 1,000, you want to have more. So if any of your custom audiences right now are over 4,000, you should think about segmenting them by time, think about segmenting by value. Are they repeat purchasers? Have they bought more than $100, $100 of stuff? Whatever it might be. And, um, and also, are they deal seekers? Have they taken deals? Have they taken discounts? This is probably the only time of year where you want to actually include those people in custom audiences or potentially build custom audiences and lookalikes on top of those buyers. So who were your, you know, your big Black Friday spenders last year? So again, get as personalized as you can. Segment out your data as much as possible. You should be running you know, retargeting to all your event steps, various timeframes and building lookalikes on all of those to maximize your chances that you're going to find that really profitable audience that you can scale from Friday to Monday. Um, so that, that's it on, on data. And then I guess what, just one last thing, Eric, and then, and then I'll wrap up and be quiet for the rest of the, uh, the rest of the, the training here. Um, I'll be spending a lot more time talking about this at ECML as well. So if you want to learn all this stuff and learn more than like 10 second bites of everything, come hang out in Bangkok, but um, you need to think about everything. We talked about this with the, the data as an investment. The same thing's true with Black Rice over Monday. Just because they gave you a ton of money on Monday and Friday 
doesn't mean that you should take them for granted and just not communicate with them, right? We do a lot of, of personalized communication after that purchase. You should be running a thank you video ad. You should be doing personalized videos. You should be running, you know, uh, uh, kind of follow up, inviting to a VIP club. There should be a, a flow after that purchase designed to recognize that buyer to make them feel valued, like they're part of something, to make them feel like they have a, a communication channel. If they want, if they have questions, concerns, they want to talk about anything, ideas for products, open that up. They'll feel like they're valued and they feel like they're valued. They're more likely to come back. So don't just try to resell them stuff. Actually focus on building a genuine relationship. Focus on getting other things from them. Goodwill, um, word of mouth, UGC, you so use generated content, reviews, all of that has a dollar value associated with it. And uh, too many advertisers treat Black Friday Saturday Monday as like just cash cow. I'm just going to grab cash from my customers and that's it. Thank you. Um, but no, this is a great opportunity to foster a relationship with a lot of customers and make them repeat business, you know, repeat customers, generate repeat business and increase that lifetime value over the next year. That's a super good tip. I, I love that because you kind of like you burn a list out, you know, you, you'll email them a bunch. You'll be hit, hit them with ads. It'll be this fever pace. And then a lot of people, yeah, might be tempted just to like you know, hammer a few more offers in there, but yeah, yep. reinvest in the relationship at that point when you have their attention already. Yep, and this is one last, that just reminds me one last thing. On my screen, sure. you guys can see this right now. Um, can everyone see that, the monthly satisfaction score on my uh, my screen right there? I think I'm still sharing. So this is why responding and building customer relationships is more important than ever with Facebook. So Facebook starting probably two quarters ago, started slowly rolling out a kind of customer feedback loop so when people click your ad and buy your product, Facebook follows up with them and they ask them questions. How was the product quality? Did you get the product when you were supposed to get it? What was the customer service like? And if you get a lot of bad feedback, this score goes real low. So your target, I think they said it at like two. If your score is like one or zero, your ads get impacted. Your account gets banned. Your ads get rejected. You pay a lot more. So we've seen a direct correlation with our, our performance and this graph. So we're at, you know, 3.7 for one of these accounts, which is, you know, way higher than the target. And we're paying much lower CPMs and CPAs at this point here than we were back here. So keep in mind with your, you know, you drop print on demand, that customer satisfaction has a direct tangible impact on your ads. And everyone can check this out if you want to see for your, um, for your page, if you just go to this link, facebook.com um, forward slash ads, forward slash, forward slash customer underscore feedback, it'll show you what the score is for all of your, um, your brands that you're running. So go check that out, see where your score is. And if it's bad, you need to start addressing your customer service and your product quality, or um, your account has a you know, huge risk of getting shut down after you spend a lot of money and lose a lot of money. So they'll take your money and they'll shut your account down. That's what's gonna happen. Nice. Thank you, Max. Lots of value there. We continue to roll on. We're continuing to gather steam in terms of attendees, so this is awesome. But guys, okay, so this is just the quick, you know, I, you know you've been on webinars before. Uh, there's usually an offer at the end of them. Uh, today is no different, but I'm going to make it really quick. I am famous for sometimes value stacking for upwards of 45 minutes. I'm not going to value stack for 45 minutes today. You guys all know December 7th, e-commerce mastery live in, uh, in Asia, Bangkok, Thailand is going to be our best show yet. Uh, we had over 400 people in Barcelona, and we will be uh, duplicating that in Bangkok, and I can't wait. These guys are going to be there uh, and several other speakers that I'll just highlight a little bit right now. we got Maxwell Finn talking about user acquisition. we got Ernest Epps giving his amazing brand of, of, of e-commerce training. we got Tim Bird giving his most recent bidding techniques and other sort of uh, intuitions around the algorithm. Uh, we've got all the top influencers there. Easily, talks from these guys could be valued at $500 just alone. Then, of course, we've got Van Oaks. You've maybe seen the podcast with him recently. Um, his is all about how he runs about 50K a day at far, five times ROAS uh, using a perfected giveaway model. We've got Depeche uh, going deep on how to break through the noise with his Facebook ads. We've got Jordan Rolbeck, who's the president and co-founder of DFO, Direct Focus Online, which is one of the biggest international e-commerce brands in the world. Um, and again, these people all together, $500, $500 value. We've got Sebastian Gomez, 
who is a dropshipping legend who's giving uh, his talk on specifically how to build a brand if you're a dropshipper and how to act on it quickly. We've got Alex Brand who built the Beard Club on how to build incredible brand loyalty, how to build your tribe. Uh, and we've got Eric Tosco who's built an empire on print-on-demand jewelry, talking specifically about how to raise your LTV. All of these guys have been hand-selected to provide the utmost value in Bangkok. Uh, and so you're going to get these nine talks from these people. You're going to get the chance to lunch, to, to network with each of these people during the breaks, during the lunch, during the meet the speakers happy hour. You're going to get snacks and lunch and happy hour. That's not a big deal. But easily, this kind of experience, this kind of training could be valued at $1,500. Uh, but you're also going to get the opportunity to take the plunge. Now, now you're also very lucky you get the opportunity to see me in a bathing suit. Uh, which doesn't happen often, but this was when I went to Bangkok to form iStack Training. I flew out there, uh, met met the guy who who was kind of working on it and that, that was handing it off to me. Uh, flew out there on more or less a whim, and it's become an amazing decision for me. Bangkok, going to Bangkok has always been an amazing decision for me uh, in a number of ways across my life. So uh, you'll be taking the plunge if you come and join us there, which is an absolutely priceless priceless thing. Uh, and today you're not going to pay fifteen hundred dollars or even the, the sticker price of 625. Today, if you buy during the webinar in the next couple hours, uh, this promo code is good, which you can use ECML save 100, you can save $100, get the ticket for very close to our early bird price, which is $525. Uh, if you go to iStack.link slash BKK, iStack.link slash BKK, uh, check it out. We have about just about 50 seats remaining uh, and we're doing dozens every day. It's, it's funny, we've been building up these campaigns for, for months. And the CPAs have been good. Uh, the CPAs have been, uh, you know, really, really good. Uh, but over the last couple of days, with all the chickens coming home to roost and everyone buying their last-minute tickets, our CPAs are, are sub ten dollars over the past week, uh, which is crazy for a five hundred dollar product. So it's been it's been fun running ads for this kind of stuff. Um, here's the other part I teased at the end. So stick around. We got a few people dropping off now. When I make the offer, it happens. But what I'd like is for you to stick around because we're going to do some questions with the experts a little bit after. But but for now, we know that not everyone can make it to Bangkok. We know that not everyone can just pick up and fly halfway around the world. You should consider it. But if you can't, we just today also made a pre-buying opportunity where you can actually buy the recordings for ECML Asia. But you won't get them, of course, until after the event, until about a couple weeks after the event. But if you buy them now, you can get them for the lowest price possible for only $249. So you'll get a full eight-hour day of training um, built in. You'll get the access to the recordings for your lifetime. Uh, you'll have all this timeless knowledge, this incredibly timely knowledge, uh, and you'll be able to stave off that terrible feeling of FOMO that you missed out on the event. And if you buy now, you can save $200 uh, on that. So you can now find that option on iStack.link slash BKK. You can see we've got three options for the for buying the tickets. Uh, you can you can enter a promo code on the on the tickets to save hundred dollars to get it down to 525 for ECML. Uh, the mastermind dinner which we're doing where we're gonna have all the speakers out at a we're renting out a fantastic Bangkok restaurant. We're gonna be doing some private presentations, we're gonna be doing just high level networking with people from Shopify, uh, people from DFO, people from all, all of our sponsors as well as all of our speakers. It's an amazing opportunity to build your network at the highest level uh, and make some lifetime friends in a wild city like Bangkok. Uh, and then for only $249, right now you can get the ECML replays as like a super early bird and this will be your best chance to get those uh, recordings, own that knowledge for as cheaply as possible. And then we have one other big announcement you've maybe seen in our social media, we've been teasing this out. Since we started um, iStack Training, since I started iStack Training, our, our events have just been the highest value thing we do. The, we, we bring the best people, we put on the best show. I feel like I'm the host with the most. Uh, we create an amazing atmosphere where you can meet people, you can network, you can learn all these amazing things. And for the first time ever, iStack as a company, even with Affiliate World Asia, because we're actually the same company, iStack Holdings, we've never been to the US. We've never done a show in the US. It's always been in Asia or in Europe essentially in Berlin or Barcelona. I think there was one in the UK. We've never done anything in the United States. And I'm super excited to announce that next year in 2019, we are going to be going to the United States. You can check out iStack link, iStack.link slash Vegas right now for the early bird sales for a two day event that we're gonna be putting on in Las Vegas, January 9th and 10th, Facebook and e-commerce mastery live, combining the two events that we put on over the past couple years, our Facebook mastery live and our e-commerce mastery live into a two-day event uh, where we're going to bring in 12 or 
16 different uh, experts. It's gonna be massive growth for your Facebook ads, your e-commerce based business. Uh, and if you, again, this is super early bird uh, with the rest of the year. So if you buy now, you can save over $500 on this ticket prices. These prices won't last long. And because these are our first ever US events, we're sort of limiting the amount of seats that we're selling uh, we're, we're, in terms of the venue that we're having it in. So we really urge you, if you're, if you're gonna be in Las Vegas, if you're gonna be there for affiliate summit, if you're gonna, if you live in Las Vegas, if you're from the States, I highly recommend you come check out this event. It's going to be an amazing one. It's a two day event that we're actually doing in partnership with AdLeaks, Tim Bird's AdLeaks. Um, so Tim Bird, of course, will be a speaker there uh, and he's helping us put on the, the whole event. So it's a really great opportunity to join us in Las Vegas. If you go to iStack.link slash Vegas. So to recap, come to Bangkok. If you're on the fence at all, don't be. Come to Bangkok for this amazing live training opportunity. Uh, if you can't come, grab the replay and get it now. Because you know the last replay we did, the last event we did, we sold over 500 replays, and most people didn't find out about it until after the early bird price. And you're just paying the full amount there when you really could be paying $200 less. You could be using that $200 to buy ads, uh, and then using the the, the replays that that you, that you watch in order to really grow your skills. So buy it now. If you, if you possibly can, because it'll save you a lot of money. Uh, and then I should mention, if you do come, you don't have to buy the replays, those all come um, included. So if you can't come, if you just can't make it out to Bangkok, make sure you buy the replays on the early bird. Uh, and then if you've just been waiting for us, like why aren't you guys ever in the United States? Well, now you can go to iStack.link slash Vegas and you can join us in Las Vegas for our first ever two day event in 2019. Uh, that's pretty much it for me. I think that was, that was the shortest sell I've ever done. But I wanted to turn it over to our legends, uh, experts, Let, we'll call them legends for, for the QA, just for their egos. Um, but we have a few questions here that are uh, still here. I will um, take a look. Can you guys see the questions?